Yeah, now in this video I want to show you how we can use this simulation program not only to simulate and calculate border plots and step responses, but also do this FRA controller design with some uh, automatical steps. Yeah, There is a button, controller design. With this button you can uh, start the controller design of this block. Yeah, As You can also have more blocks but I have only tested this program version with one block in a loop. That is the normal way. Uh, I have seen some problems if you have more than uh, one controller in a loop and want to design it. So do this design step by step. Um, okay, we have just a single loop, one controller, no problem. You click on controller design, then you have uh, the following. Um, input questions to parameterize uh, the controller design. First, uh, of course, you should uh, fix the uh, starting uh, omega of your border plot. You use a border plot design, so uh, you have to say at which frequency the left fr uh, starting frequency should be, and then the design will make it will be done with um, four and a half uh, decades. And uh, furthermore, the program analyzed the system and found that controller block six, which is designed, gets a feedback signal from block five. That is automatically identified, but maybe uh, in very complicated systems, this could be an error. And then, of course, you can correct it manually. To say OK, and now you have to decide if you want to have an acceler a depart accelerator or not. If not, you have just this chance to design a P and a PI controller. If you click on this, you first give the input for the PD part, and after this, then you can decide if you want to have an additional PI or just a P. Um, Let's start with a simple P controller. So we disable this checkbox, say OK. And now this program automatically has identified the um, process and had found that the process has an integrator. Uh, this leads to the fact that you cannot do the uh, pole compensation possibility. I should show with a 4 PTM process. Here only the symmetrical optimum is possible. And yeah, now you have just to type in the face margin and can select the P or the PI design. Let's start with the P design. Hopefully you can um, remember or I can can open the numbers of my, my table in the, in the background so that we easily can check these values. So here you see the border plot. With fine grid, you see that really this is a, a logarithmic scaling. The uh, scaling is done in here the, in the horizontal axis in omega, but of course this is a logarithmic, log logarithmic axis of omega. Here you have dB values and here phase values. The phase is automatically um, wrapped. Uh, all values less than minus 180 uh, are uh, edit with 360 degree full circle. Um, after doing this, you of course can add uh, some um, additional border plots, the open loop, phase and magnitude, and the process open loop and border plot can be displayed. But of course, in, the, uh, in this scaling, the um, yeah, the colors can be seen here. The green is a process magnitude, the blue is the open loop magnitude, so added with the P controller. Normally, I think uh, it's just enough to, to see the open loop um, system. Uh, if you close this box, you get the result window. And the resulting window is also stored in the um, report. And you get a controller a gain of 16.97 and crossover frequency of 3.16. If we compare this with our table values, I just um, 
open this on page um, 40, 45 in the workbook and you see P3.17 KC 16.6 this is a little bit different in the in the third digit but I think we can accept this as a good result. If you close now the window automatically the results are stored in the um, report panel. The report panel is just a text box uh, which contains now uh, the single results and you can uh, store this text box in with this button in a text file or you can uh, print it and uh, just or read it or make a copy of the text what what you want to do and you can set this report box always on the top so you see controller p is designed and we can do the next design we want to do the next design by accepting all correct values say okay okay and now click on the pi button then we get the pi design and what uh, maybe is helpful to see let's uh, the, the, the size is, is not stored wait for this okay i make the fine lines and um, you see there is a um, maximum in this phase this maximum is where show coordinates the maximum is uh, the um, y2 value is relevant is exactly yeah you read now y2 is in negative 120 so we have now a phase margin of 60 and the maximum of the phase curve is exactly so that the uh, distance to the minus 180 line is minus is a 60 degree phase margin and uh, you see here in the maximum you have the crossing of the open loop magnitude so automatically this uh, symmetrical optimum design leads to an optimum uh, phase curve value okay if i close this box this lines should be uh, checked so we read omega d is 1.55 gain 761 um 1.55 761 so this fits exactly to our table values okay so far if i close this box of course then this is uh, reported here it's a report box and so we can continue now the uh, controller design should be done with a pdt1 controller for this you see now the program uh, automatically um, has a proposal for the uh, smallest time constant so this proposal is uh, is uh, calculated with the minus 30 db method which will be added just in this or the next video so you have to fix the time constant either you uh, take this proposal sometimes this is a good proposal but if you know better then of course you can uh, write down the time constants manually yeah, you can overwrite it but uh, if you want to have the time constant value we have in our design table then overwrite it and then the program takes this value and the step steps can be selected here we want to have step steps 10 you say okay now again symmetrical optimum uh, can be used uh, port compensation is not allowed the program identifies this uh, feature and we go on, can go to, to the pdt1 block which gives this result i close this box and get the pdt1 uh, values 7641 7641 workbook 76440.2 so this is a little bit different but this differences have really no effect on the uh, behavior of a loop yeah? very small effect on the behavior of the loop if we close now this window then we can start the controller design of a PIDT1 circuit of course this must be checked the PDT1 part has uh, now a TV and the step depths unchanged 
and if I click on this button, I get the PIDT1 design with symmetrical optimum. And the resulting values I get with closing this window, and you see omega 37 k 18 3. 37, 18, 3, 37, 18, 7 are the values of the table. So a little bit different, but uh, that's a change in the third digit. It doesn't matter. Um, so you see this design me method behind this is uh, algorithm of the controller design fits exactly to that what I have presented in the last videos. Uh, and you can use this program uh, very good for uh, the design of your closed loop systems. Note, of course, if you have the signal block diagram, this is easy, but uh, this program also uh, offers the possibility to uh, read in a measured border plot with uh, this box or a measured step response with this box. Yeah, so if you have measured the process, um, by uh, by a step response measurement, then import this measurement into this box, and then we can design the controller. Or if you have measured the border plot, maybe with with gain phase analyzers or so, then you can import this function uh, as an ASCII ASCII file, and then this program automatically can design the uh, controllers with measured border plots. This will be done. In, uh, in lab experiment there, in experiment number three, you uh, you will get a step response measurement and a border plot measurement from a speed control system we have uh, as hardware in our lab. And then you can design with this program uh, several controllers, which can then be compared with the design made will make uh, you know, make in the uh, done in the uh, real lab experiment okay so far uh, I know uh, <coughs> load the 4pt1 example 4pt1 with pi we all can go with this open it i have to throw away the fixed pi of course this cannot be designed we have to go with the um, designable controller we just uh, leave these values unchanged and start the controller design with my project number three uh, say okay feedback block number four is okay uh, i just show you that this program also offers the pole compensation method uh, of uh, a PI controller, if possible. In the 4PT1 case, this is possible and allowed. And you see the program makes a proposal of the time constant uh, caused by the, or uh, calculated with the negative 12 dB method. You we learn how this works, and you see the proposal is very good uh, because the one second is exactly that value we uh, have found by the largest process time constant of these blocks. So this method helps if I overwrite it uh, or change it manually to uh, one second, of course, and I get a PI design, which is... Um, gets the same result as we have found in our table. I just open the relevant table uh, in project number three to compare these values. It's yes, on page 42, you see omega D is 1.4, KC is 0.757. In my design, you have uh, 0.78 for the KC and 1.42 for the uh, omega d value, so these are very near results. If you want to select a PI controller uh, with symmetrical optimum, this is of course also true, you can do this in any case, then you get our 
uh, PI design, the symmetrical optimum. Um, if I add the fine grid and close this box, I get the values omega d is 2 and controller gain 1.33 in my table. Omega d is 2 and kc is 1.33. This is very near to the values we have got in our manual design. So I want to show you pole compensation and symmetrical optimum is selectable if you want to have it. And the classical designs for P, PI and so on can be done. Uh, eye controller, of course, is not prepared with a button, but of course you can uh, design also an eye controller by simply knowing that, close this box, by knowing in the controller design, a pure eye controller is just a PI with a very large, you can say, uh, very, very small time constant. Yeah, if this is very small, say um, go near to zero, one, uh, and I go to PI, I get now the PI design. If I close this box. I get that the omega is 0 0.39, 0 0.4 we have found in uh, our uh, manual design here. Uh, omega D is 0 0.388, and in our design we have now a controller gain of zero. Okay, <laughs> okay, the format of printing out the result doesn't fit. I see <laughs> the. KC and TN are very small, and I have a fixed, uh, yeah, fixed decimal uh, digit after decimal point of four. That is, of course, not optimal. It could be a change of this program to optimize an eye controller. But note, an eye controller is not really a good selection, so forget it. Yeah. Um, so far, you can design or for classical controls with this and then of course after this make your step response measurements as what you want.